opens a package and take out the mixer boards, instructions, and other accessories in turn. There's a member invitation card inside. If you would like to join the hardcore player community, please scan the front two-dimensional code to aid the exclusive member butler. First of all, please read the instruction carefully before assembling. Assembly steps of auxiliary tools can be found in page 1 and the notice is in the lower right corner. The player should pay attention to know the meaning of icons in instruction, such as focusing on the waxing areas, special attention areas, sandpaper polishing areas to ensure the successful assembly. Waxing areas need to be waxed with the wax in the package as shown. Sandpaper is mainly used to polish the birds appearing on the board when you take off the parts and to make the dry parts smoothly. In addition, to distinguish between the front and the back of the parts, the front side has indentation marks as shown in the figure below. Secondly, according to the part list page, check the number of parts in order to prevent loss. There is a whole spare version of the fragile parts in the package, which can be used if the parts are damaged. If the parts are not enough or you don't have the parts, please contact us with a customer service, email or rogue official Facebook on the first page. The customer service will send you the replacement parts. Remove the film on surface and let's start. Compared with models we've assembled before, Marble Knight City is a kind of easy before difficult product. It includes many track branches, so we need to assemble branches by parts before assembling all of them together. Connect A19 with B24 by two pieces of A4 to be track A. Take off B24 lightly for its fragility. Complete track B and C in the same way. Take off three pieces of C22 and insert them into A3 one by one. Pay special attention to pressing A3 to the bottom of C22, which is significant for its final integrity of tracks. Take off A15 and A16. Insert A3 into them as shown. The side which faces to the track of A15 has indentation. Notice the direction of assembly. Take off B8 and B9. Insert and press them to the bottom of grooves of A15, C22, A16. Insert and press G13 tightly to the bottom of parts as shown. Complete track E, F, 
G in the same way. Lightly take off B25, B35, B17, and B19 for their fragility. When assembling track edge, pierce through A28 into A4 first. Move convex parts to corresponding holes. Press them to the grooves tightly. Assemble three pieces of A4 in the same way. Take off C1 and insert it into D20. Notice that D20 indentation surface is part front. The indentation surface is shown in the video. Assemble C23 on both ends. Take off B12 and B13 and press them to grooves. Complete part I.
take off H1 and secure M2 with it by screws. Notice the direction of H1 according to the grooves. Assemble two G17 and one G9 together, then repeat it. Auxiliary tools are used to buffer pressure to avoid breaking parts down. Insert C26 as shown in the video. Insert B10 and B11 into grooves of each one. Notice the protrusion position and check the right direction of B10 and B11 according to the instruction. Insert other parts and press tightly to make them stable. Take off C2 and secure C4 on it with screws. Insert B14 and B15 on both sides. Take off G6 and G8 from acrylic board and remove fumes on both sides. Secure M1 and C6 with screws respectively. Notice that screws are P4. Complete part J and Part K in the same way. Take off J3 and J4 from acrylic board and remove films on both sides.
put part J and part K inside them as shown. When assembling this part, insert part J and part K on J3 first. Assemble J4 on them after. Or complete part L first. Insert part J and part K into the grooves inside after. Make sure the sides with rock of J6 and J8 face outside. Otherwise, they will prevent the movement of balls. Assemble them as shown. Press 4 B4 onto protrusion position on both sides of part L and complete. Take off C17 from plywood board and secure M2 and C4 on it with screws. Take off C19 and C20 and insert them to the reserved grooves of C17. Notice that the printed side faces outward. Insert one side then press another when assembling this part. Take off C16 and C18 and insert them into grooves slightly for their fragility. Complete another long and narrow track in the same way. Take off J2 and remove fumes on both sides. Assemble it with two complete tracks together and secure them with F12. Then, take off J1 and insert into grooves of tracks and also secure it with 4F12.
take off and assemble H5, H6, D19 as shown. Also, assemble D22, H3, H4 together. Take off I3 from acrylic board and remove its film. Take off round parts D9 and H10, then pass through two parts into H10 symmetrically. Then, pass them through I3 and D9 successively. Pay attention to the position of grooves. Wax hole D2 and insert the assembled part in E17, C3A. D2, C5, to be new part N. Pay attention to the position of grooves. Assemble E14 and H8 with 4D21. Press H8 to the button and remove films of I4. Insert them in sequence I4, H9, H7, D15, etc. to be part O. Notice that D15 needs to be worked totally in advance. Insert D17 into D12 and insert this assembled part into round parts D1 and E9. Next, insert assembled part into E12. Notice that the hole needs to be waxed inside in advance to make sure it's smooth movement. Wax D5 and press it into the protrusion position and secure it with gear C8.
take out short steel shaft P5. Insert P5 into C24, walk to gear D24 and pass through the holes reserved on the board. Then secure the steel shaft with P1. Take off E7 and insert it between assembled part and P10. Notice that the hole in the left of P10 needs to be aligned with the steel shaft and inserted. Secure it with P1. Assemble to F5 with F4, then insert this assembled part into the protruding position. Align grooves of F10. Insert D23, D8, D16 into the protrusion position in sequence. Assemble the handle with screws and tighten the nuts with tool D4. Then insert D6 into the part. Assemble lightly for its fragility. Secure it with D10. Assemble A11 and A12 on the upper and lower sides of A17 separately. Insert this part on the previous assembled part and wedge A13 in the middle of two parts. Assemble D3 on the other side at the same time.
Take off F2, D7, B20. Insert B20 into grooves of F2 and secure it with D7 on the other side. Take off long steel shaft P8, assemble part N between F2 and the handle part by long steel shaft. Secure two ends with shaft sleeve P1. Take out steel shaft P7 and insert it in position as shown. Connect E15 with assembled part O by steel shaft and secure two ends with shaft sleeve P1. Notice that shaft sleeves need to be pressed to the surface of parts to make sure it is stable. Take off H2 and assemble B33 and B5 on both sides of it. Notice that the front of the part B5 faces up. Assemble H2 in the right position as shown. Secure H2 with a part by B5 and press B5 to the button. Take off F3 
F1 and insert it in the right position as shown. All of the parts are completed. Assemble them together now. Take off the small parts identified in the instruction and combine them together. Assemble them on E3. Notice that B27 needs to be pressed to the bottom. Keep the surface parallel and be careful not to loosen it. Insert P6 into this part and two ends with P1. Take off the entire G16 and insert E1, E4, E2 into groups of E16. Assemble E4 and E2 lightly for their fragility. Then, put the I1, I2 special shaped parts between E4 and E2 and snap it into the bayonet. Insert 3P6 steel shafts into the C21. Secure one side with P1 and put a J10 acrylic plate in the middle on the other side and secure it with P1.
made four P2 transparent sleeves for each of the two sections. Suggest to use auxiliary tools with this step. Complete another one in the same way. Insert this part as shown in instruction. Use two transparent shaft slips P2 to secure another side.
take off two F8, insert three steel shafts separately, and secure ends with P1. At last, insert last two long parts C21 as shown and secure with black shaft sleeves. Take off A25 and other small parts and insert E18 between acrylic boards. Insert two B38 in the right before covering long part A25 on the top. Take off A21 and J7, remove fumes on surface, assemble on both sides as shown, lightly assemble for its fragility of acrylic board. Insert D13 between them. Pay attention to the position of grooves. Assemble A26 and A27 in sequence on the top. Press them repeatedly with auxiliary tools to the right position.
in third part Q as shown. Pay attention to the direction. After inserting part Q, notice that if it is pressed to the bottom and fits the base tightly. Take off B26 and B27. Insert them as shown. Assemble part P on the base. Notice all grooves fit both tightly. Secure part P with B21 and the base. Flip the direction. Insert B32 between part P and part Q. Insert B1 into the grooves. For the looseness between two parts, insert E10 and E11 in the middle as shown. Press E11 to the bottom. Secure them with 2B2 and 2B3 to make them stable. Take off D14, insert it into the outside groove with the auxiliary tool. Insert D18 into inside grooves. Secure the parts with 2B5 and E16.
Insert B39 as shown. Secure it with B29 and B31. Connect the tracks with handle parts by F6 and F7. Connect A23 with A6 by A5 as shown. Secure this part with J9 and secure ends with F12. Pay attention to removing films of J9. Take off B16. Pass the steel shaft through it. Secure the end with the black shaft sleeve. Insert G11 on the base as shown. Connect E5 with F9 by G7. Insert this part into groups of the base. Connect E3 with G8. Insert reserved grooves above the base. Insert E6 and G14 into the positions as shown, and then insert G4 above E6. Insert G10 and G15 into reserved grooves. 
assembled lightly for their fragility. Hook G5 and G6 into reserved grooves. Insert G6 into the groove tightly. Otherwise, it will influence assembling G5. The position of G6 is shown in the video. Insert track edge to reserved grooves as shown. Press it to the button. Otherwise, it will influence the following assembly. Insert A29 into B39. Notice that the vertical grain faces upward. Insert parts into positions as shown. Assemble in the same way. Insert A29 into B34 and above the track. Hook B37 on the other side. Press A29 and B37 to the bottom for smooth movement of steel balls. Insert G2 and G1 into grooves as shown. Insert track G as shown to connect track G with the track just finished. Pay attention to bayonets when connecting. Connect track F with track G after it. Pay attention to grooves in the bottom. Assemble in the same way. Insert track E on the base. Before connecting track E, insert G12 on the base and press inward tightly. Then, insert assembled track D into grooves as shown. Press downward tightly to make it stable. Insert F3 into grooves as shown. Insert G3 into F3 to support securing track C. Connect 
connecting track A with track C as reserved positions. Notice the end of track A has double grooves. After assembly, test if the track is stable. Take off F11 and insert as shown. Notice that the bottom icons of F11 fit icons on the base. Insert C14, C15, B40 on the track B. Pay attention to the direction. Insert A14 into the groove as shown. Secure it with B22. Take off C25 lightly and circle by circle. Secure it on the base in order according to bayonets. At last, insert acceleration track and put it on the right place as shown. When assembling C25 and the track, ensure the stability of bayonets. Find out the fourth point as shown. Press it to the button to ensure the complete assembly. Assemble part M and part I on Night City in order as shown. Pay attention to the smooth connection of tracks. Use auxiliary tools to ensure its stability.
the acrylic board onto the metal nameplate. Secure them with four knurled screws. Assemble remaining small parts as shown. Put small parts assembled by K3 and K2 under the base.
brand new night city is completed. Go and have fun together.